Welcome back students with the final part of chapter 1 numbers. Recall in the first class we saw the objectives Indian place value chart to write the numeral for a given number name, expanded form, standard form. In the second class we saw formation of greatest and smallest number using given digits to write predecessor and successor of a given number ascending order and descending order. Today's objective we are going to see is Roman numerals and international place value chart. Roman numerals, we are going to represent Roman numerals using a few English alphabets. These alphabets are I, V, X, L, C, D and M. Ordinary numbers are the Hindu Arabic numerals. So, 1 is represented by I, 5 is represented by V, X is represented by 10 and 50 is represented by L, 100 by C, 500 by D and 1000 by N. There are no place value system in the Roman numerals and no symbol is there to represent 0. Points to remember are V, L and D cannot be subtracted from any Roman number. Example, 5 minus 1 is 4. In Roman numbers, the number to be subtracted has to be written on the left and the higher value number is to be written on the right. So, 5 minus 1 is I, V which is 4. 50 minus 10 is 40. So, X, L is, e is equal to 40. When 10 is to be subtracted from 50, x, l which is 40. Now, second thing, v, l and d cannot be repeated. That is, i and x only can be repeated where i, i, i is 3 and x, x, x is 30 and c, c, c is 300. x can be subtracted from l and c only. Example, x l that is 10 minus 50 minus 10 is 40 and x c 100 minus 10 is 90. i can be subtracted from x and v only. Example i x is 10 minus 1 which is 9 and i v is 5 minus 1 which is 4. A Roman numeral can be repeated a maximum of 3 times only. Example x x x is 30 while x x x is 4 times is not 40 but 40 is x l. Roman numerals from 1 to 15 have, have been listed in your textbook. Now let us move on to problem set 11 where arrange the following Roman numerals in ascending order. See our worked out examples, try you students will love to do it. In apply, let us see the second and eighth sum. The first sum that is second one, the given question is x, i, x, v, v, i and i, i, i. x is 10, i, x is 9, v is 5, v, i is 6 and i, i, i is 3. So, arranging them in ascending order is i, 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 v, v, i, i, x and x. Moving on to the eighth sum, x, x, i that is 21, x, x, v which is 25, x, x which is 20, x, x, x is 30 and x is 30. So, arranging them in ascending order that is from small to big, first x followed by x, x, again followed by x, x, i, then x, x, v, and finally x x x. Moving on to the second objective that is the international place value chart. Let us first remember the Indian place value chart which has four periods for a number of nine place values. The four periods are ones, thousands, lakhs and crores. In each period that is the first period once we have three place values that is ones, tens and hundreds. In the second period of thousands, we have two place values which is thousand and ten thousand. In the third place uh, period, we have lakhs 
which has only two place values that is lakhs and 10 lakhs and the fourth period we have crores which has two place values crores and 10 crores. Now moving on to international place value chart each we have three periods for nine place values and the three periods are ones, thousands and millions. Each period has three place values. Ones has ones, tens and hundreds. Thousands has thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand. Millions has million, ten million and hundred million. Now comparing the Indian and international place value chart. Indian rupee, Indian place value 1 lakh is internationally 100,000 and 1 crore in Indian place value is 10 million in international place value. 10 lakh in Indian place value is 1 million in international place value and 10 crore in Indian place value is 100 million in international place value. Now moving on to task 4. Here we have to insert commas according to the inter Indian and international place value system. Question 2 has been a worked out example in your text. Now let us work out problems 3rd and 5th one for you. The given number is 345628. To, to do it in the international place value star system, Indian place value system starting from right first period has three value, uh, place values and after that every period has got two place values. So we are going to represent the given number as 3 comma 4 5 comma 6 2 8 which is nothing but 3 lakhs 45 thousand 628. Now moving on to the uh, same sum in the international place value every period has three place values starting from the right after every three numbers mark a period by a comma. So the given number has to be written in the international place value system as 345 comma 628 which is read as 345,628. The fifth sum is 24743982 in the Indian place value chart the first period has got three places. So, and all others have got two places. So, we are going to write it as 24, 74, 39, 820, which is 24 crore, 74 lakh, 39,820. In the international place value chart, it is 247,439,820. Moving on to Problem set 12. Write the number name according to international place value system. The C part is worked out examples and try sums. I am sure you will do it immediately. Now let's do apply the second and fifth sum for you. The second sum, the given digits are 86369723. So writing the place value in the international place value system is 86,369,723. The fifth sum is given sum is 8261981162, which is 826,198,162. With this, we have come to the end of chapter 1 numbers. Hope you have completed all the exercises from problem set 1 to problem set 10 and task 1, 2 and 3 and also revise 1 and 2 in your textbook looking at the first two classes. So I am sure you will now try to do problem set 11 and 12 and task 4 and also revise 3 in your textbook. I am sure you champs will be able to complete it very quickly. Hope you have enjoyed the class.